Welcome to edtechvoices.com. My name is Mark Dubow and I will talk today about understanding the power of RSS feeds for student and teachers. RSS stands for really simple syndication. What it stands for is not so important, but it's what it can do for you. If you like to stay up to date on various sources and you really like reading a lot of digital sources, one easy way to keep track of all these is through an RSS reader. So basically you have to find the feeds and then track them uh, by going to your reader and just simply reading. So everything goes to one place. So let's have a look at this. So I've created an example. Normally you use a web device, example a PC, to go and read the news that you're interested in. So we have a blog, maybe there's a series of blogs that you like, you like to go and read. Basically you have to go and type it in your uh, web device and go to the blog. Favorite newspaper, let's say Globe and Mail, you type it in, takes you to your favorite newspaper. Favorite website, type it in, takes you to your favorite website. Same thing with podcasts, YouTube videos, or Twitter followers, etc. So you want to basically have a quicker way to do this. Because the traditional way takes a long time and um, you know requires a little bit of organization. To make things simple for you and for your students, uh, using an RSS reader changes everything. We recommend Google Reader and we'll talk a little bit more about it in a second. So basically you find the RSS feed for your favorite blog, your favorite newspaper, your favorite websites, your favorite podcast, your YouTube or your favorite Twitter follower and you just basically add it to your Twitter feed. Let me show you how to do this. So there's two ways, there's a couple ways actually to find an RSS feed. The first method is look for the symbol on your favorite website, blog, podcast, etc. and you simply click on it. So um, you have to make sure you have a reader account and as I indicated, we recommend Google Reader. A lot of educational institutions use Google Apps and normally if you were using uh, Google um, you would be able to see let me just go over here under even more you'd be able to see Google Reader in educational apps you actually have access to it but it's not in the list so the way to go to it is to type um, reader okay so we'll type read reader.google.com and it'll take you to my reader. My account is already logged in, so it takes me immediately. If not, it would ask me to log in using my Google uh, Apps account. So basically, here we have all the items I have in my RSS, and um, all my subscriptions are down here. This is a general, uh, shows me everything that's been updated in the last two days. I haven't had a chance to check in the last two days, but it allows me to keep track of all the things that I'm interested in. So how would I search for RSS? Okay, let's check something out here. So basically, um, so you look for the symbol. Let's uh, go and look on, uh, we'll use Globe and Mail today. Just give us a, so let's type Globe and Mail. to see if we can find the icon. The thing is, some of these major media uh, don't want you to find the icon because they'd rather you buy the newspaper and that makes a lot of sense. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna actually do a search. I'm gonna go back to my slideshow. The first way is to look for this icon. We'll find a website in a minute. I'll be showing you a great uh, uh, site that, that keeps track of all the, the most popular blogs on the internet. Um, but we'll just basically do a Google search. So you type the symbol RSS in the name of the website you're interested in. So let's go to Google and do that. Since Globe and Mail is making it hard for me to find their RSS, uh, well, does that mean they don't have one? There's only one way to find out. Here at Globe and Mail, RSS. And here they all are. So they were invisible originally, so if you'd really want to have uh, access to them, basically this is what you would do. So this is what I do with the students. Let's assume I was doing an assignment in uh, civics and I want them to keep track of politics in Ontario or anything that has to do with Ontario. 
So I would tell them to open their Google Reader, find the RSS feed for Globe and Mail on Ontario, and I would tell them to subscribe. When they click on it, they'll see this very complicated, you know, sort of computer language. It's basically uh, XML. Uh, basically, doesn't mean anything though. So they copy it, they copy the URL that's at the top over here. So you copy that. Enlarge this here. You can enlarge it. No. Um, you go to your reader. You click subscribe. 